What's up guys, Worldly here, and today I just wanted to make a short video on how you can uh, reduce the RNG to zero on this boat fight coming up right here. Um, and basically it's a new strat to save a death log barrel for the Titan fight later on. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is do to do go to Prince uh, when he is in town. You also want to buy Adrenaline from Hild. So we're just going to do that real quick. Boop. So Adrenaline being the skill book. Hit accept. Oh, well, sorry, your offer insult. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so now uh, make sure you exit this, uh, this text. Otherwise, uh, it'll get messed up a bit later on. So now you can learn the skill book. Now... When you get to this point, you should have your two death fog barrels and two oil barrels. Um, this will put you just overweight, but it won't be too much of a problem. You can still move around, and you'll this is this is right after the Alexander fight. You know, if you're if you're doing the speed run, you already know most of this. Uh, so right before you talk to Malady, uh, these are just the things that you need: is the two death fog barrels and the two oil barrels, as well as uh, adrenaline on your skill bar. So we can actually remove Chameleon Cloak. We don't need it anymore. Put adrenaline on there. And uh, call her a day. Uh, we'll hop into the text here, skip all the text, hit accept. Okay. So, coming into this part, we're gonna skip the text from uh, Prince, go into our inventory, and just toss the oil barrel up here. And then we're going to. <clears throat> what you really want to do is drop the death fog barrels. So we're going to put them over here to avoid uh, them getting destroyed in the fight. And we also need to minimize our weight right now. What we're going to do is head down the stairs like we normally do, talk to Malady. Um, of course there are faster ways to do this. I'm just, uh, I'm taking her slow because I will generally mess up if I don't <laughs> right now. Uh, I haven't done the speed run in a while. But yeah, so the oil barrel is strictly for clipping through this wall. We do don't need to pick it up. Um, we don't need to pick it up after we come back through. So same thing, grab the book and grab the ornate chest. Head to the wall and we're going to drop the ornate chest, walk back through and head up the stairs. So here we're going to grab, uh, in, I would say roughly in this order, we're going to grab one, two, three, uh, Four, five, yeah, five, and then head up, head over to the stairs here, and then pick up this box. So all these crates they weigh fifty pounds each, or fifty kilograms, or whatever. Um, so you want to have them in your inventory going up here. So we're not quite fully overweight; we can still move a little bit. But if you wanted to make this faster, you can drop the box, walk up here. Um, Teleport up to the top, grab the bear box there, bring it out of your inventory again, um, and we can throw it down here. Now from here, we're going to jump to Kerbin again. Now you may be able to avoid this uh, if you wanted to, say, loot the void worm, the void drill worm. Oops. So, okay. So here we have the two barrels. Um, so you can either... Move them forward prematurely, or you can make sure that you don't uh, skip the text with Malady too quickly. So, we're going to talk to the boat, because we have the book. Unskippable. Alright, skip the text. Boom, we're going to walk over here. Malady's going to come up, and she's going to talk to us. So, basically, you want to... Oopsies. Take your head. I don't know what happened there. I clicked something bad. Uh, anyways, you want to pick up your crate and your barrel. And see how we're overweight? Well, we actually have skill points now because when we read the book, I believe when we read the book, we gained uh, skill points. So you want to put those in strength. And you don't really need to do anything here yet. So now we can just barely move because we put those points in strength. 
optimality. I'm actually just gonna quick save here. Oh. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so escape. So now we're overweight, but we can still use our jumping abilities. Do, 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 do. He's going to blow everything up. As you can see, our death bog barrels are right here. I tried this many other ways, like picking up uh, the fire barrels here or the fire barrel up there, but you just don't have enough points. You don't have enough skill, uh, AP in order to do that, so you have to pick up these, uh, these crates down below. The reason I chose to do it this way is because it doesn't change the current uh, current route too much, but it will save you a lot of time, and you can you can do this very quickly if you're good. But I'm just not good enough yet. So we jumped up to the top of the mast, and then we're gonna jump over to the boat here. Uh, I'm just gonna jump somewhat behind her. You don't have to be right behind her. Uh, so now, <clears throat> if you want, you can use page up and page down to zoom in and out. Um, I may suggest this because the words can get in the way, but we open the backpack. We're going to put all these in the backpack. If you can do this fast, I applaud you. Um, I don't know if there's a way, like, if you... I don't know if there's a way. Nah. You can move this closer, I guess, just so it's faster. Okay, so you put all, uh, all six in there. Plus the oil barrel. And close that up. Now let's drop the bag on right beside Malady. Oop. We're going to use Adrenaline. I'm going to do a quick save here because if you mess up the bag throw and don't damage her, there's a chance you could fail this whole thing. So, one there. And uh, the reason it's harder when it's zoomed out... Oh, fuck. Well, hopefully we get a crit. I gotta figure out exactly where to put this bag. There we go. Oh god. Okay, hopefully a crit. I did quick save, so we're fine. I'll restart if I can. Um, if you get a crit, crit, it takes one less AP. Nice, we got one crit. Um, but if you don't get the crit, no, it's not the end of the world. You just have to do the last AP. Um, as long as you don't miss. I missed one. But yeah, so uh, that's... You use page down to scroll back out. But that is the new trick for beating Dallas without using the death log barrel. So now, uh, of course, let me skip the text. Jump down. So the reason we didn't take Bless off the bar was because we needed to bless this person. Otherwise, I would have chosen Bless over Camouflage. Not that we use Camouflage either way. Um, we actually don't use Tentacle Ash either now. Because uh, if you're fighting if you're fighting the Titan using the Deathlog Barrel, you don't need Tentacle Ash. So you can remove either one of those abilities, or both if you want. Um, also, there's a Reckoning Mace here. I don't know if we could do something with that. Maybe, instead of using the sword. Anyways, <laughs> uh, I'll, 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 I'll do the thing. So we head over here downstairs I'm just gonna show you guys that the death fog barrels are still there um, I don't know if anybody's had to do this or found to do this sort of thing uh, in a very long time so since like old patch I guess I, uh, I guess they should have been on the boat right there actually in the underworld I didn't even look maybe I'm dumb <laughs> I should have looked, but I'll just confirm it. Sorry about the load screens. Also, guys, sorry this is all in one take. I uh, can't seem to get my video editor working, and I'm very sad about it. So, so we're just gonna look. Death log rails right here, and uh, I thought that was the third one for a second. I almost pooped. Okay, uh, <laughs> but yeah. So basically, you can take one or take both but um that bag is now gone that's why we can't use the death log barrels to or as like as weight to get to use that bag right so if we could somehow get that bag um 
or get a critical hit. You know, if you got a critical hit, you could save yourself a lot of time not having to pick up so many crates. But yeah, uh, there is a... That is the trick. Um, I hope uh, I can do a run with this sort of thing in and actually save, actually save some time. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you stay tuned for the next one. Um, and uh, definitely subscribe if you liked it. Or don't. Like it if you like it. Subscribe if it helped you in any way. And uh, make sure you guys go follow me on Twitch if you want to see more content from me that I don't normally post on YouTube. Uh, I know I haven't made many YouTube videos in a while, but uh, I will have no buts. <laughs> I'm just apologizing. There'll, there'll be more in the future. All right. We'll see you in the next one. And stay worldly. <laughs> Hold on. Can I? Can I? <laughs> bye bye, everybody. Ha, ha, ha.